Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man, giving you the truth. And I want to talk about something real brief. So I read something on YouTube that said that the black church is dying. And I disagree with that. I don't believe that the black church is dying. I believe that some of the things that people used to go for, they just not going for no more. They getting divorced. They give they tired of giving all their money to the church and not saying anything. All these untouchable pastors. Uh, but yet they getting rich. Like guys just not going for that no more. Like this is the information age. You really don't even have to go to a church anymore. You could just go to YouTube on Sunday morning. Dress up if you want. Like I don't, like even me, like I give a sermon every Sunday. You'll get your fair dose of the word. So people, you know, and then churches, like I've been a member at three churches. And one of the things that I noticed about all three of those churches is that they were clicky. Like people would go to church thinking they're going to make these friendships and all of this and all of that. And then you end up just making enemies. Like, that's just the way it is in a bad church. Like, and, and sometimes you have pastors that they might not be bad, but their church is bad. And then sometimes you have bad pastors and good churches. I mean, it's just flip-flop and, and people just getting tired of it. It's not that the black church is dying. It'll never die. It's going to always be people that want to learn about the most high. Always, it's going to always be people, black people especially, that, you know, they believe in God. They just got to learn how to put that belief to practice. Because when you go to these churches sometimes, it's just people who look, what he said, they look like they got it together on the outside, but on the inside, they ain't got it together. They pretty much do the same stuff. And then you got the other people who was raised in super religious churches so they have a high expectation whether they in the church or not like they think everything is adultery they you know every little thing people do if you gamble oh, he's a sinner listen you ever stop to think that maybe your pastor was just wrong about some of that stuff i mean how is it working for you you know how is it working for you if you grew up in one of them you're going to hell churches which you got to talk about hell how's that working for you you still not worried about being lost so that's what's basically going on you got people just not they're not buying what they selling no more like all that bring tithe to the storehouse that be meeting my house and you know, and I was talking about a barn. People did, did the research like, hey, man, that's talking about a barn. That's talking about livestock and, and growing crops. And they turned it into a whole billion dollar industry with a half truth. That people just not going for it no more. How many people out there done seen like a bunch of sinners getting more than them and they give every Sunday they pay their tithe they you know do what's right in life but let's be honest man I ain't gonna go into details but y'all ever stop to think this right here maybe just maybe you worshiping idols you worshiping gods that when you worship that god you really secretly worshiping a devil or a demon People is doing research. That's another thing. Like people doing more research now. And then they'll just go, they'll go to these churches and they'll start to question things. And then people treat them like they're an enemy. Oh, you got the wrong spirit, brother. And they be like, you know what? It's cool. And they won't go back. And then they'll see they, <laughs> they'll see they members, the other members in the grocery store. And they'll be treating you like you on backslid. First of all, what's that? There's no such thing. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the Bible says we're going to be judged according to our works. Everybody. 
He said, if you will enter into the life, keep the commandments. So some of y'all that's talking about who backslid, let me ask you something. You keeping all 10 of them commandments? You keeping the Sabbath? Of course you ain't keeping all 10 at all times. And neither am I. But like the Bible says, he knows who are his. And we should strive to keep all 10 of those commandments plus the, plus the two. Love him with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. As yourself. What does that mean? That means that if something happens, if your engine go out in your car, you're going to want somebody to help you, right? That you don't got the resources to get your engine fixed. You will want somebody to help you, right? Okay, loving your neighbor as yourself means that you do for your neighbor what you will want your neighbor to do for you. And that's important. Christmas, all that stuff is idle. You know, I ain't gonna even get into the holiday thing. Like, the diet stuff, man, you know, it's people focus on the wrong stuff, man. You got people that are teaching people they don't go to hell for eating shrimp. No, you're not. You're not. Who knows if the Most High gonna mention it or not? But uh, did y'all not understand the Noahic laws? The Noahic laws state that you can't eat anything while it's alive, and you can't eat anything with the blood in it. But other than that, you can eat anything as long as you pray over it and give thanks. But you will have people that have come along and say, ah, man, that ain't true. Okay. We all gonna stand before God. Just start telling them that. We all gonna stand before God, brother. We all gonna stand before God. And I got a joke I say now. I say, hey, man, if you got it all together, you gonna be one of the kings in heaven, man. You know, every debate ain't worth having, which is another reason. Like I said, like I just mentioned, like sometimes people leave churches because they tired of fighting. Think about it. If you got a guy that got to fight with his wife, he come to church and he got to fight with them. He going to get rid of one of them. He going to get rid of that church, them church people, or he going to get rid of that wife. But ain't nobody going to be fighting at every aspect of life. They're going to start eliminating stuff and eliminating people. You know, some of these women will try to put them church folk on you. And they'll be trying to treat you like a demon. And, you, and you'll and be practically acting like one sometimes. Be like, man, if you touch me, man, I'm knocking you out. And it shouldn't even come to that. Because they ain't perfect either. But all of these is the reason. Like masculine men... You gonna have a hard time getting them in there if you're not masculine. If you, well, you know, we need to pray. We don't need to be going fish. Didn't he fish? He's. I can end this right now. I'm gonna just end this. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna be talking about this from time to time, though. I don't believe the black church is dying. I just think that they need to do some research and they need they need to figure this thing out. And that's coming from a prophet. Y'all be speaking dogmatically on stuff that I can refute within seconds. And then you'll be trying to say I'm a demon. No, I just know the truth. But thanks for watching. Keep tuning in for more videos.